And on we roll here at Fall Frenzy, and what a match this is going to be. Dog collar match between Justin Case and Stiff Mike. I'm looking forward to this. There's no love at all between these two. That's a thousand percent correct, and if you're unaware of how a dog collar match works, it is this. The two men will be tethered together by that dog collars around their necks in a chain. They're not able to like, really escape from each other. The chain may be used as a weapon if they'd like. Uh, basically no disqualifications. The winner of the match is the first person to gain a pinfall, submission, or to touch all four corners, all four top turnbuckles consecutively. You know, this match really does not favor Justin Case. He can't run away from Stiff Mike this match. I mean, Stiff Mike's been the one deserting matches, but you would think there would be a strength advantage for Stiff Mike in that they're going to be attached by a chain. Right. Well, like I said, there's nowhere for Justin Case to go. So not only do you have a powerhouse like Stiff Mike, a miserable human being like Stiff Mike, you can't get away from Stiff Mike. Stiff Mike doesn't even want to wear the, the, the blood collar. So finally he's, he's doing it, although he wants to buckle it off himself. I mean, that's understandable. There's something to wrap around your neck. Right, to make sure it's done right. This is Billy Madewell. We know he can't do anything right to begin it's with. Unnecessary and incorrect. Kind of like you. Well, that makes sense. I don't know what you're talking about. You're just bitter. Bitter that I have to listen to you in my head for two hours. Every... Bitter little man. Wow, the collar's in place on both men. Mike testing the chain right off the bat and see if Mike was trying to go outside just in case yanking on the chain preventing it from happening. And this is the first dog collar match in TIW history. Oh, oh, oh dear. He lost track of where that chain was. Oh, that's that's unfortunate for Stiff Mike. No DQ. And a little bit of revenge here for Justin Case. Of course, this feud between these two started months ago when splashed by Case. Justin 
case was in a TNW Championship match and was screwed over by Stiff Mike. Since then they had a one-on-one -on -one match that was a no contest. They couldn't stop fighting each other on the outside. And a tag team match that just in case won, but Stiff Mike walked out on, a, on the match. So. And it all comes with a head here, but also Stiff Mike walked away. Whereas just in case was carried away, his head got split open after that chair shot. After the match, Stiff Mike did attack just in case from behind, cutting his head open. Oh, I poke by Stiff Mike. Like you said, there's no disqualification. Yep. Oh, and he uses the chain to deliver a shot right to the chest of just in case, which you're allowed, and this also allowed. He's choking the life out of Justin Case. Oh! Stiff, stiff boot to the midsection by Stiff Mike. Stiff Mike, I would expect nothing less. Oh! Just a blatant low blow. There's no disqualification. There isn't. We'll, we'll point it out again. Chain wrapped around his fist. Oh! As if the punches don't hurt enough. He's got metal chain wrapped around his fist. He doesn't. Could have knocked him out cold there. Choking him out somehow. I can't see exactly what that was. You'll see it better at home. Case, though. Trying to rally back into this match. Catch him with an uppercut and another one. Grabbed that chain around his knee and drove it into the mouth of Stiff Mike. And then pinfall two, and an eye rake by Stiff Mike. Again is how he gets out of the, the pinfall. Pulling him back by that dog collar. Uh-oh, he's trying to lock in. He's choking him with the dog collar, using the leverage that he has from it. Yeah. And the case gets free for a moment. Mike's ready to fight everybody. Apparently, oh! What a cutter. Beautiful cutter. Into the pinfall, two. Case is able to kick out at two. Stiff Mike maybe spending a bit too much time yelling at the crowd. He's wrapping the face of Case up in that chain. He's in his mouth and he's stretching. That'll knock those perfect teeth out. Severe lasting damage. He's trying to break three though. He's, oh! Nowhere he to go. To, but yeah, couldn't get to the ropes because Mike had too much of the chain. And Case is brought down to the mat by his neck. Talk about not escaping. The entirety of that force that he started running with went all to his neck and now. Oh, whipping him with the chain. With his back, he's wrapping around his midsection. Those welts are already forming across the, the side of Justin Case. A lot of people are applauding Stiff Mike right now. Case makes three. Oh! It's a big, big DDT. DDT. Yeah. Basically, DDT him onto the chain, too. So, gets one arm over into the pinfall. Two. Wasn't able to get much under the pinfall, though. And if Mike's able to get the shoulder up. Just in case, looking to be the first back up to his feet. That was just that. There was a punch to the face. Now he uses the chain himself. What a cowardly tactic by Justin Case. Stiff Mike just did that. Has spent the entire match doing that. The second just does, you call it cowardly? Because I expect more from Justin Case. Legal within the rules of the match is doing nothing wrong by doing it. He should respect his mentor. His mentor that screwed him out of a potential championship. His mentor that attacked him behind with a chair. Mentor he almost got revenge on right there, only a two count though. Just in case holding his eye after that kick out, he may have had damage done to it when when Stiff Mike raked him across the eye. I can't even Oh, oh, what a kick to the side of the head. The, the collar has fallen off of Stiff Mike. Of course it did. Billy Madewell adjusted it. That's why it wouldn't stay. 
he's got Case by the neck of his dog collar and throws him over the top rope, catches him with the chain. He's hanging just in case on the other side of the he's ring. He's got Case hung up. Case almost might need to give up for his, his life. Uh, he's got a leg on the apron though. Looks like he's not completely feeling the effects, thank God. He's able to deliver a kick to the face there. Left the big man reeling. Justin Case heading up to the top. Top rope, chain attached. He's caught though by Mike. Oh, what an awkward landing that was for Case. That could be it. One, two, no, Case is able to kick out. If Mike says, you kidding me. Madewell still trying to reattach the dog collar. They may have just inadvertently handed Stiff Mike the weapon he's gonna use. Nope, drops the dog collar. Set up for something, no Case able to break free though. Super kick. Mike's reeling again. That oh. one takes him down. He got all of it that time. He's wrapping the chains around the legs of Stiff Mike. Yeah, he used the chains for extra leverage on the pinfall. Two, three. That's it. Just in case wins it. And that should put an end to these two. Well, it might. I mean, the definitive victory there. Just in case, even with the disadvantage of Stiff Mike being out of the dog collar, delivers a couple of vicious super kicks to left. Mike out cold and gets the win. Case has something to say. Someone time him. Sometimes it's a little tough to tell what's going on in this quick. So straight out, we'll tell you guys, this is really legit here. Mike just, just lost. Get in. Truly independent wrestlers. Amazing company. Wouldn't have me here if I didn't have some sort of skill set, some sort of professionalism. And I gotta tell you, 14 years ago, I left Berkshire County, moved up to Boston, when my guy named Stiff Mike. He taught me that professionalism and taught me how to be proper in, in this business. A lot gets us about this business. This guy brought me here. I ain't gonna shake your hand, and I ain't gonna hug you. But I just wanna tell you, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Stiff Mike, and that's absolutely legit. So, if you ever come to the time looking for fighting me again, I'm going to give it to you throw a butt. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've given me. I don't know if I'm ever going to get a chance to say this again. Thank you. I like Stiff Mike. <laughs> He's stuck by his morals the entire time. His morals. <laughs>